The burden is mine. I will take the ring. Three rings for the elven kings under the sky. Seven for the dwarf lords in their halls of stone. Nine for mortal men doomed to die. One for the Dark Lord on his dark throne. In the land of Mordor where the shadows lie. One ring to rule them all. One ring to find them. One ring to bring them all, and in the darkness bind them. In the land of Mordor, where the shadows lie. This is the War of the Ring. Hello everyone and welcome to The Lord of the Rings, War of the Ring. This is the real-time strategy game based on Lord of the Rings that isn't Battle for Middle-earth. Even though it did come out around the same time, it has two campaigns, one for the good guys and one for the bad guys, and we're going to start with the good guy campaign. The Iron Hills echo with the sounds of clashing steel as the dwarves defend their homeland against a wicked orc onslaught. With the help of Gimli, son of Glowing, they prepare to rid the cliffs of the savage infestation. Gimli and his warriors must gather their forces, climb the nearby peaks, and crush their enemies under the weight of the mountain. Time has come to drive the orcs from the Iron Hills. Look, up there. There's boulders on the cliffs above the orc camp. If we can gain those cliffs, we'll show the orcs what dwarves can do with stone. A few hard shoves will send some rock crashing down on orc heads. <laughs> and here we are. We play as the dwarves. And our objectives are to destroy the main orc encampment and kill the orc captain. And we also have to construct our base here. But what we want to do first is gather our warriors. And you guys can collect me some ore. You can build me a mill here. And yeah, you can help with that. Then we probably want some more workers. Let's get those. A couple of things about the game. The first thing, this game is not based on the films. At least it's not more based on the films and the films are based on the book. Instead it's pretty much built based on the books and it does have it does have uh, a system that's generally quite similar to Warcraft 3 and it has also been compared to Warcraft 3 in both contemporary and more uh, recent reviews. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but uh, to be fair, it's a 3D game that came out around the same time as Warcraft 3, and it's also a fantasy game, so it's not really all that surprising that the games do get the comparison, even though, I mean, Warcraft 3 didn't really invent the RTS genre. But, but anyway, let's kill some. Let's kill some orcs here, or rather, a goblin spearman and orc bowman. I guess we do kill one orc here. There's only one faction, so even though we do control dwarves here and we do have dwarven workers and everything, uh, all the good guys and all the bad guys share a faction. Yes. And the game has yes. pretty much what you expect. So you gather two resources, food and and ore, and those are pretty much like gold and lumber. If you want to draw further comparisons, you can build, should probably yes. do that, you can build a mill and the forge on... On a, on a pile of ore or on a well and then you'll gather resources faster which is recommended do you want more workers I probably do want at least one more you do have a pop limit which you can increase by building these camps here 
and you do have hero units you can summon. You have a HQ which you can upgrade to gain access to higher tier buildings and stuff. So all of this will be very familiar to you if you are familiar with RTS games in general. Let's build another... Awesome. Let's build another tent here. And let's build one or two more workers. And in the meantime you can recover. So units do recover automatically. Which is quite nice. So if you have a mission like this where you defend yourself your units won't get worn down over time and can we actually we can't go down here which is good because that means we should have a relatively easy time defending ourselves and what we have here is the dwarven axe thrower your basic range units and the dwarven shield breaker a more melee focused unit as well as as gimli here also you join these guys here and you build me you build me this barracks here and you can help with that. If you set several workers on a building, it's going to be completed faster. And the game is generally quite convenient in a lot of regards. For example, if you order several guys to build a, a forge or a foundry, sorry, not a forge. There is a forge, but we're going to go to that later, or a mill. And then finish it, they automatically start working. So it has a lot of conveniences. And regarding the heroes, the hero system is similar to, to that of other games where you can actually a has been sacrifice a hero a and you can get back heroes later so you don't have to fear about never getting getting back a hero you lose or immediately losing the entire mission due to that. So what else do we want? Probably want to upgrade our strongholds. Do want that indeed, but we need more bread for that or food or water, whatever, same thing. And I guess you can construct me, yeah, you can construct me an additional tent here. And do I want you guys to... You know what, let's let's gather a couple more guys and then we can explore a little bit more, kill more guys and whatnot. There's also this this fate system. So if you if you have fate points, which are gathered by by fighting or defeating your enemies, then you can you can use special abilities and you can also upgrade your heroes. So that's a, that's a, a nice nice a oh, nice addition here. So for this one here, we would, we would need two two points, but we don't have them yet. And for this siege aura here, do we actually already have that? No, we do not. Or do we? This might be already activated. So I'm still finding my way through a couple of these menus here, but never mind. And we could, yeah, let's let's get this upgrade here, and then let's go let's go on a raid. I don't think we need to spend too much time upgrading our oh. Expanding our war party here. This is the first mission after all, so this shouldn't be too difficult. Let's see. So we did kill some guys over here, but I think I just want to check out what we have here. And maybe we can conquer those hills and drop some rocks on some orcs. Didn't even see you because there were trees in the way, but that's okay. You can attack move in this game. It's a bit odd. Occasionally you just run past stuff and then they stop and st then they start attacking. So it's a bit uh, it's a bit strange, but let's not question that. This ability here... Okay, so that's a stunning ability. Not that surprising. And what... What are you... Oh, did, did I accidentally attack the ground? I did not mean to do that. I wanted to do an attack move, but never mind. I didn't... I didn't... Oh, there was a force attack. You know what? Uh, Never, never mind. Never mind. Let's just pre Let's pretend that never happened. Uh, one of you is almost dead, but that's okay. What? Oh, 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 oh they've got a watchtower here, but that's okay. Uh, watchtowers are the upgrade ones. Are they're fairly strong, but they're not super strong. And we do have the anti anti building aura, so I guess that's something. And here is is this idol here, so those are ancient ancient sites and these can bestow you certain abilities. You can take them over by just, just being near them, but they can also be taken over by the other side, so keep that in mind. And let's murder you. And then let's deal with the tower. Yeah, so this is a... This is a place of power, so this will now heal our guys. And I should probably send, speaking of guys, I should probably send some more down there. In fact, I should have done that a while ago, but uh, multitasking is difficult. 
doesn't really matter, we did this nevertheless. And this is a war post. The war post generates this this foul land here because the the dark forces have to contaminate the land before they can build their kind of like the zergling not zergling like the like the zerg creep of the Warcraft 3 undead undead contaminated land which looks almost like this so you can kind of see where the comparisons are coming from are we under attack maybe we are never mind anyway what I want to say is that we can build a dwarven hall actually no we already have a dwarven hall never mind we want a forge instead okay who's attacking us here was it just a general message actually no someone was attacking us here Never mind. Let's just recover. And... Let's see. Do we want this? Maybe we do. Yeah, let's get this ability here. There we go. And we can now use the Sunder ability. Which is pretty sweet. And once we have this forge here, we should also be able to build these shield breakers here. Then we have some melee units as well. Which is always great. So we probably want to go here next. We are going to do that in a bit. And we also want some more some more camps. What I do appreciate in this game is that the, the pop buildings actually give you a decent amount of pop. So you don't have to worry about... Yeah, let's build one more of you and let's build a bunch of you guys. And let's get these upgrades here. The upgrades are always global. That's nice to know. And once more, it's it's an aspect that should be that you should be familiar with if you have played real-time strategy games before. And look at you. Yeah, it's just three guys. That should not be a problem. Boom. That's done, everyone. And then let's murder them. All these special abilities have cooldowns. So you can't just spam them naturally. And the heroes also have auras. Gimli has this siege aura here. So we've got our forge here and we have Where's another... Yeah, we've got an additional tent here. Sweet. Let's maybe build a second... Yes. Second woven hall here yeah. just so we can spam units a little bit faster. Why, why? And I think I'm going to put your gathering point up here for now. Just so we can speed this up a little bit. Other than that, we're pretty much good. This Yeah, these, these two resource points here, they're con still contain a ton of resources so you shouldn't Where's run out of resources at all at least not in this mission here in multiplayer it's nevertheless recommended to to capture several such points because the amount of resource you can gather here over time is still limited awesome uh, you guys will be gathering here and you can help these guys actually can you help out these guys because it seems I think we already have the maximum gathering rate here, but I guess you can join these guys, even though that's not terribly important. Okay, you guys are almost finished. Nice. You know what? You come over here as well. I can always build some guys later to defend my base, and we probably don't really need to defend the base in the first place, so never mind that. Also, did I see a, a red blip here? I did. Got some orc slashers, just a basic evil melee unit, and what do you think you're doing? Hey, come back. This is a goblin slave master. Slave master is not quite their construction unit, but it is. What was that? Oh, did some. Where did that come from? Where did that come from? Did they attack? Did they attack me from the cliff? Is that possible? It, they did. Devious. Can my axe throwers actually get them from here? Because those cliffs look uh, rather steep. But never mind, they're not really doing all that much damage. So let's just wait until the reinforcements arrive. And then we're just going to go up there and and murder them. Because I'm okay with that too. That's sad. Did I Yeah, so the armor upgrade's almost ready as well, which is which is nice. Let's build some more of these guys. And some more of those guys. And yeah, let's not wait for the last guy, let's just get up here. And then we can gather reinforcements there, which we may or may not need later. The game's zoom isn't great, but it's sufficient. 
it's some of the games just seem to do that it was the same with warcraft 3 where i just didn't uh, i promise i'm not going to make warcraft 3 comparisons throughout this entire throughout this entire gimli you want to you want to fight or so no okay that was probably yeah that wasn't close enough but that's fine and this bim was dead anyway so it doesn't really matter that much but that's okay and so here are those rocks, but before we get to those, let's maybe, hmm, are these guys already, no, they're not gone, they're still hanging around here. There we go, and that's going to come to an end soon. Thankfully the units do regenerate, so whoever gets, hmm, whoever gets, gets down there and got damaged is going to regenerate over time anyway. Boom. The bad guys seem to be completely unfazed by the fact that they just someone just dropped a rock on them. They just stand there. There's absolutely zero reaction to that. I kind of like that. Yep, still no reaction. I guess they have their orders to to stand still and not move an inch. Nope, still no reaction whatsoever. I guess empathy isn't high on the list of character traits for these guys, but what what are we to expect? Can we even? This is this is really awkward. I guess this isn't really the path to take anyway. So let's come down here, and then we're going to march towards the main camp and kill everyone. Didn't we? Huh? Yeah, you know what? Let's get the the rest of the guys here. I don't think... Do we have access to... No, we don't have access to any more... Any more upgrades anyway, so let's not worry about that too much. And later later on we will have access to human and elven units as well. So just in case you were wondering. It's just that this mission here is dwarf focused. Yes. I like that they do give you specific dwarven workers. And not human workers. That's quite nice for immersion. Even though the units are just uh, essentially identical. And only have a different... We don't have different looks. Okay, let's see. Can we reach this camp from here directly? Or so? Nope. Seems like there's actually no. There's there's water on the way. This fog of war is kind of weird because it's more like real super dense fog. I wish it was just black. It just seems odd. Occasionally, it seems the, the world's just cut off, even though it doesn't really make too much of a difference gameplay. In fact, it makes no difference gameplay wise. These guys here, they are not good at reacting what's happening right behind them. Do I have your attention now? I guess I do. Then again, the Slave Master isn't your primary fighting unit. But the Slave Master is the unit that can erect these war posts. So you will require a War Master to expand your base. But we'll, we'll see that primarily during the evil campaign. But for now we're playing the good guys. Yeah, these drops, they're tearing these building, buildings apart. They're really not messing around. Can we progress here? Can we go through? Yeah, we can go through here. This is shallow enough. That is good to know. So you're level 3. Sweet. And it seems, yeah, I don't think they have anything left that's good enough to actually... to actually get in our way. Especially with all those axe throwers, which always have an, a little bit of an easier time attacking stuff. Occasionally, especially melee units have a bit of an awkward way of of attacking. They they run towards a the target, then do a full stop, hesitate for a couple of frames, and then attack. It, it's not really that much of a problem, but it just feels odd because the units they they kind of just slump when when that happens. So it's it it just feels weird. We do have some defense buildings here, but that's not too much of a problem. Let's just have everyone fight their way through here. And then we're going to take out these slave masters here. As well as that tower. And then we're probably going to tear the, the base apart and then we can take care of the rest of the defenses. Even if we even have to do that, but I think we do because this is specifically marked on the map. Where did, did I not kill you? I thought I did. And there we go. 
overall buildings are not super sturdy. I think they're generally quite easy to, to destroy, at least it feels like it. There are some units that seem to be harder to destroy than buildings, but that's maybe that's, that's just my perception. We'll see. But then again, we also have these uh, shield breakers here, plus we have Gimli, so we, we do have a combination that is generally suitable to... Ah, here's our captain. Generally suitable to destroying buildings. So our captain is essentially just a melee attacker. Except uh, he's tougher, which was to be expected. And here is the Fortress of Mordor. Let's erase that. And a Goblin Hovel. The Goblin Hovel is just there. Essentially their barracks. Actually, or is it? No, I think it's actually produced by Goblin Workers. Or maybe it also produces the rest of the Goblins. I kind of forgot about that. Uh, but we'll see We'll see about that later. But for, because for now, again, we're playing as the, the good guys. So we did complete that objective, so I guess we still have to destroy the other camp. Yep, onwards indeed. Take down the tower, and we... We're barely scratched. I think we lost some guys, but overall, well, they don't stand a chance. So we still have to construct a watchtower. So let's just take a couple of guys here. And let's do that here, even though I guess at this point it's not really needed, but we may as well do it. Well, we have to do it, otherwise we can't c complete the mission. Let's do that, and that should end this for us. And look at all of our dwarves just hang out here. Isn't that sweet? You please hurry up a little bit. The watchtowers do what you expect. They I'm not quite sure they give you vision, but they, they do shoot arrows, so they're, they can be upgraded. So they're, they're your basic RTS game defense building. No surprises there. A building has been. Ha ha! Good work, friends! We've cleared the orcs from these hills! <laughs> Rumors spread quickly in the orc ranks about dwarves who could make rocks fall from the sky. The orcs retreated from the cliffs and mountain ledges they had used to invade the dwarf lands. A dwarf victory would have been assured, but fear of the Dark Lord Sauron inspired the orcs to find another way into the kingdom of Durin's folk. And there we go. Victory for the good guys. And we also win by points, because points are important. Alright, thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time in the second mission. Take care, goodbye.